D&D gang, what's going on guys? I got another video for you today. You know the drill. I've been here for maybe five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. I just watched about a 14 inch brown come up and eat an adult stone fly right off the surface. So I think today we're gonna be in for a really awesome video. Make sure you guys click the like button for me. It's already getting windy. We're about an hour away from a huge storm hitting. To be honest, a lot of this video is probably gonna be in the pouring rain, but the conditions are perfect. I couldn't pass it up. This river is gonna be blown out flood stage here in about 24 hours. So I came up here, got you guys another video. I wanna jump right into it. So I'm gonna switch cameras so I can show you guys in better detail what flies we're gonna be using today. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna get right to fishing today. Alrighty guys, because I saw that big stone fly get eaten, I wish I had an all yellow stimulator. I looked in my box and I don't. I only have an olive body and orange so I went with this I think it's a size 10 it's pretty big no dropper we're just gonna isolate the dry fly today so let's throw that out there see if we can get a couple on top and then uh, maybe we'll switch up the tactics see if we can hunt some of the larger fish off the bottom with the nymph rod alrighty guys it's actually pretty windy so this is gonna make this difficult I added some tippet to a brand new leader as well so we're we're working with like a 15 foot leader right now the trout on this particular river are really spooky. So we have a 9 foot 4x leader. And I added about 4 feet of uh, like 6x to the end of that. Just going to start right in front of us. No need to go far. Just going to work our way out. Don't want to spook anything. kind of cast in between the wind oh wow just missed one hammered it too I don't know how he missed him second cast guys oh there's one. Oh my gosh nice trout dang had him on too that was a good brown wow Crazy. I don't know how he missed. They like that stimulator though, man. That was that was bang bang pretty much. Alrighty guys, we're gonna switch over to nymphing. Put on this big kinda it's kinda like a big ice and Nickian nymph. Just a giant extended body pheasant tail pretty much. And then down here, we got our DHSH. They're about 16 inches apart. So we're gonna get out there with the 10 and a half foot three weight and uh, try to nymph up a couple of trout. And then we're gonna move up river, go find some more fish. All right, one more cast. can feel the bottom pretty good. Didn't I just say one more cast? All right, last one. Just want to work those far rocks right through there. Got one, got one. Whoa, whoa. Knew we had to get to those far rocks. Nymph them up on the Euro rod. Wow, I've never seen a brown trout get air like that. Holy crap. I wonder what fly he took. Pretty good fish too. He might only be about 13 inches, but he's, uh, he's heavy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This brown's getting mad air. Nymphed them up. Knew there had to be one in there. Probably one of the ones we missed on dry he went down at the bottom after. Oh, he took our dropper fly, guys. He took the DHSH. If you guys want to buy this exact fly, it's available on my website. 
anything you guys buy supports the channel, so it's kind of a win-win. These flies have been doing absolute damage. And here's just more evidence of that. Wild brown trout out here on the river. Alrighty guys, back to dry fly. We'll go dry first and then we'll nymph up this spot. Guess we'll just try right here. Guess you never know. Pirate got too close though. Would have spooked anything in there. We'll just move about 10 feet out, take another cast. And maybe a little bit farther. Somewhere in there. Oh, oh my gosh, big one. Guys, how did we miss? He was right there. 15 incher. Maybe he'll take it again. Maybe he'll take it again. Probably not. We might be able to nymph him up though. That's a really nice fish. Wow, another one on the stimmy. Alrighty guys, that fish is right, right here somewhere. Little guy. I saw one small one come up and eat one, so I just swung it on tension. Same fly, guys. Whoa. Same fly again. D H S H. Man, this fly out of control. Everything eats this. So many different areas and different water types. I've been hammering trout with this fly. Right in the corner again. Easy, buddy. Man, these trout are wild at the cold water. Wild brown, DHSH. Another one. See ya. Forgot to hit record, just went back to back. Another one, DHSH. Same fly again. Alrighty, guys, another small one on the DHSH. Alrighty, new stretch of river. Gonna go with the stimulator first. Maybe we can actually get one on dry. Probably get a take and miss him. If I had to take a guess. We'll see. Let's just start out right here. Let's start out right in front. Who knows? Who knows what's sitting right off the bank in the rain? Two feet away. Alright, nothing. Big surprise. Let's go a little bit farther. Go somewhere out about there. Right about there. Boom, right there. Come on. It's tough, guys, because this water in between me and that far bank is the is very, very fast. So we're only getting so many feet of drift. Even with manipulating my line, it's just hard to uh, to avoid any drag, so. Basically like they gotta hit it right where it lands. That's why I'm trying to get right back by that tree. Oh man, something dragged that down. Trying to get back by that tree on that little calm spot, hoping there's just one sitting right there. Right like, like that, did you see that guys? Oh man, we missed another one. Not a huge fish, maybe a foot long, but it's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Throw back in there. It's a clean miss. Maybe we'll get a second chance. Unlikely. Maybe there's a second fish in there. This dry fly is soaked between casting and pouring rain. Try to dry it off with a couple casts. Throw it back there. The drift. Yeah, man, we're only getting one chance with these fish. We're only getting one chance, swing and a miss, and they're heading for the bottom, it seems like. 
Rain's really picking up. Water level is uh, really starting to make a difference here. I might have to switch to just streamers. Just really got to reach over behind that log. I just can't get a good drift. Water's too high. I can't get over there. Alrighty guys, well I'm actually just walking up off the river. My gear is off. I was going to fish one last spot before the day ended, but it just didn't look that good. The weather's really moving in now, so that's actually going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, definitely swing by the website. Grab some of those flies. DHSH. If you're on some smaller water, go the size 16. If you're on bigger rivers, grab some of the 14s. They're definitely going to catch some fish for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.